This is the plaintiff, Corey Johnson. He says the defendants were driving recklessly and crashed into his car while he had his son and daughter with him. Thank goodness no one was hurt, but his car was badly damaged. He thinks the defendant was drinking and driving. She didn't have a valid license and now refuses to pay him the $5,000 he needs to repair his car. That's why he's suing. These are the defendants, Rosine Myers and Nayla Shorter. Rosine says her daughter, Nayla, was hit by the plaintiff because the man ran a stop sign and smashed into her. The cops wrote up a report. It states the plaintiff ran the stop sign, and this guy has some nerve dragging them into court today to sue for something that was his own fault. Sheesh. They're accused of not paying up for damages. The defendants have filed a countersuit for $500 for their insurance deductible. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant crashed into him and he believes she was drinking and driving. But the defendant says so he, he ran a stop walk. sign and caused the crash. It's the case of hit me with 20. your best shot. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Mr. Johnson. You are suing Rosine, Rosine, Rosine yes. Myers and Nayla Shorter. Nayla, you were driving, right? Yes. How old are you? Eight, 17. 17. For $5,000 in car repairs for a car accident that resulted on Christmas Day last year that you say was her fault and that has totaled your car. Tell me what happened. Well, me and my wife and my kids had went to her sister's house for kids' Christmas on you know, unraveling the presents and all that. And I'm very speedy, so I was the first one out to warm up the car so the kids wouldn't be cold when they got in the car. She was the last one there. The rest of the kids were in the car with her. Okay. So I pulled to the side on Yale and waited for her. So when we got to Bennett, I stopped at the stop sign. Then there's a stop sign on Yellow Bennett. Come on over here. Let's see if you can maybe show me on the on the board that might help me to understand. I was here. Okay. And I waited there until my wife pulled up behind me. Got it. Because she was loading the rest of the kids in the car. Yep. So when she pulled up behind me, you know, I knew it was her car. Right. I pulled out at the stop sign. Uh-huh. I proceeded. When I got right here, I got hit. Wait, did you stop at the stop sign? Yes, ma'am. It's the stop sign. Okay. I was there at the stop sign. All right. Okay. I, when I so proceeded... And I got you here. You proceeded, so now one second has passed and you got hit. So did you not see the car that was coming? There was, there was a, a van right here. So you didn't see the car coming? No, ma'am. I was here at the stop sign. When I pulled here, there's a van parked here right on the corner. I have pictures of it. Okay. And not being able to see, I proceeded with caution. I stayed there. I was there. So you just went like that and you figured, in Spanish we have a saying, el golpe al isa. The hit will let me know if it was safe or not once I feel the pain of the hit. I mean... And, but I couldn't see her coming. So okay, as I, you I, couldn't I was, see her coming. Not, not but she was coming. I don't... I wouldn't know. Well, no, you do know because she hit you. Yeah. Right. So she, she was coming and she way. has the right of way. The accident happens, but you're suing her. Because yes, how me. is it her fault? She hit me in the back. Yes, I know she hit you in the back, sweetheart. Let's talk about this a second. Your car has a stop sign. Does she have a stop sign here? This is, it's down here. Okay. Does she have a stop sign anywhere? Does she have a red light? Does she have anything? That's what we call the right of way. Get her moving. Get her moving. Get her moving. Okay. You can't see. Oh, I'm going to try it anyway. And no, then she hits you. How well, how? I mean, I don't know how else it could happen. Right. Look at where we are. You have a stop sign. She doesn't. Okay. But her stop sign's over here, ma'am. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Hold on. On this intersection, she doesn't have a stop no, sign. No, it's, it's, it's here. Yeah, it's, so it's irrelevant. Jackson. It's irrelevant. That's yeah. not where... Yes, ma'am. Do you see that a car's coming? Because a car was no, coming. No. We know that a car was coming. She did, did you beam down from outer space? No. Right. So we know the car was coming. So tell me how, just tell me how it's her fault. How is it her fault? The police actually wrote in the report that you ran a stop sign, right? Yes. But you feel that, that, was, that they were wrong to say that because you stopped at the stop sign. That's, that was, that's okay. Fine. I think what we have here is a failure to communicate because really when the, you can go ahead and go back. When, when the phrase running a stop sign doesn't necessarily mean that you didn't stop. It's that you proceeded without giving the people with the right of way the clearance. In other words, if you stop and then you go at the wrong time, that's called running a stop sign anyway because you're the guy who didn't obey the stop sign. The stop means you must stop until all traffic is clear and you can go. And from what you're telling me, it clearly wasn't clear. You were driving down that street. Is there a stop sign for you there? No. No. Everybody agrees. And what happens? Um, I was coming down Bennett. I seen him, actually, but I assumed he would stop at the stop sign, which he didn't, so... Oh, so you say he didn't even stop and roll. Yeah. All right, but, and so you see him, 
And you assumed he would stop, and what happened instead? He didn't stop, and we collided. All right. And what was said at the scene? Um, he tried to tell me I was speeding, but I just didn't say anything to him, and I called my mom. Good move. All right. So, Mom, you went out there, and what happened? Yes, ma'am. When I, when I pull up, me and my son, um, he's right around the corner, maybe about a minute away. I got out the car. He approached me, and he was like, oh, she was speeding. Your daughter was speeding. So I asked him, was he OK first? And how, OK, let me just ask you, was she speeding? I think so, ma'am. But how, what makes you say that? She slid my car to the side. Where was your car hit? I'd like to see the pictures. Yeah. And do you have uh, an estimate for damages to justify the $5,000? Do you have car repair estimates? Um, they told, told me that they couldn't fix it at all. It's just totaled out. OK, do you have Kelly Blue Book value of your car? No, ma'am. You have something to prove that, that you're entitled to $5,000? No, ma'am. OK. Well, that's a problem, too. But did you see her at all? You just didn't even see her. She was, she was flying. Did you when see I crossed her? The street, did, my question I, was, did you see her? No, ma'am, I did not. You did not see her. When I crossed the street, she was right there. So if you, did you see the road? Like, if you can't go until you see the road and make sure it's clear. You, did, you didn't I, see her. You didn't see the road. I, you didn't look at the we road. Was, we was, we, I was sitting there for, like, five no, minutes waiting for my wife. No, you were sitting back further. You, according to you, you're blocked anyway because you got a van right here. you got pictures of the van that was blocking you. Every human being who stops at a stop sign, if you stop where the stop sign is, then you go slowly to make sure that you have the right, you know, the ability to go without getting smoshed, especially if you have kids in the car and it's Christmas. And so you have to know that there's nothing coming in the cross street that has the right of way before you go. By definition, you couldn't have seen that because you decided to go even though you couldn't see it, which doesn't make any sense. Don't do that. Keep inching until you know what's going on. How old are you? 17. 17. You're 17 years old. Your first car accident. Yes. Did you end up getting a ticket? Yes. What would you get the ticket for? Uh, for not having my permit on me. That's it? Yes. Did that get dismissed as soon as you showed your permit? Because you had a permit. Yes, and I got my license right after. OK. Did you have insurance? Yes, ma'am. But it didn't cover this? I don't understand. Your insurance, did you have, what kind of insurance did you have? Just the kind that covers the other guy, just liability? Just liability. Not, not your own collision? Liability, that's it. All right. Now, according to you guys, the insurance information you gave the police was wrong, too, because he didn't even have insurance. Yes, ma'am. Is the judge bound by what the police say? Uh, you're going to answer anyway, so go. Well, what's the question one more time? Nothing, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody heard the question? I heard it. OK. OK, so I say that um, they could take the police recommendation, but once it's in the court, it's in the judge's hands. Boy, you are smart going inside the courtroom. Geico contact me, stating, sent me a letter saying um, they're going after Corey Johnson because he has, they could not find any insurance under his name. And they decided to go after him for the damages that was caused to my car. Have they filed, has Geico filed a claim against you? No, ma'am. They called me and told me I owed him $7,000. And did you? No. Okay. I, was, I didn't no, know if you settled no. with them. I wanted no, to know. They, then they told me, they called me and said that your car's totaled out. We're going to give you $300. I cursed them out and said, what is $300? It can't fix that. It's no way possible. The door is 250 well, nobody has to fix it. Not Geico and not that little girl if it's not their, her fault. It has to be her fault for someone else to put the bill. Otherwise, it's on you. In fact, your car got damaged, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, let me see the damages to your car. And you're out the $500 deductible, correct? Yes, ma'am. And Geico said from the police report, they assumed that they was 20% responsible. And he well, that's ridiculous. She's 100% not responsible. Yeah, so they gave him a check for $200. Did you end up having to pay something for the damage to the car? I had to pay $500 for my car. Just, just a $500. Yeah, just a You're not out $500 plus 20% no. of the... OK. No. Because no. you had full coverage. Yeah, yes, so I had you full had, coverage. Okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. Did you get the car fixed? Yes, ma'am. I don't even have that car anymore. I got How was it? Car. I have a question for you. How did your mom behave that night when she came to the accident scene on Christmas Day and saw the car totaled that's in her name? She was just very understanding about it, but she was just upset that I didn't have my permit on me. That was literally about it. OK, did you ruin Christmas, or? No. OK. Was she nice? Yes. Yeah? Is she a good mom? Of course. Good. All right. Um, yeah. On your claim against Nyla, zero, and on Nyla's claim, and her mother's claim against you, $500 for the deductible. And if I were you, I would expect that Geico's going to sue you for the rest of what they paid for her car, which is like another 3000 bucks. But that's another problem for someone else on another day. $500, verdict for the defendant. Thank you, ma'am.
Well, it did not work out for you, Mr. Johnson, the plaintiff. Uh, as you heard, the judge found against you. And you've got to give them $500 for their damage. Yeah. I got eight girls and seven boys. Nobody's getting anything. Not in my pocket. Wow. Are you going to help me? <laughs> there, you go. Is, there you go. The court has given you. There you go. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll find out. I think you just heard what he said. Oh, no, I didn't hear you. Can, come on over. Oh, I said you, wow. you've just gotten a judgment for $500 against him, but he said he's not going to give it to you. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Justice prevailed. I just wanted to be over with because it kind of turned personal. You know, where we live at, it kind of turned personal, so it's over with now. No. Okay. That must have been a scary experience for you, wasn't it? Not really because I didn't cause the accident, so. No, I know, but you hit him. Yeah, so that, and that's uh, scary when you hit yeah, him, right? That was, that was scary, I guess. Yeah, come on. Scared for anybody <laughs> when you hit somebody. All right, thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You so much. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Well, what do you think about that, Harvey? Okay, the bottom line not only is the judge not bound by what the police say, usually the police didn't even see the accident to the police. It's all hearsay.